High blood pressure is prevalent, affecting about one in four people worldwide. But what are the causes? In this video, I'll discuss the common causes of high blood pressure, which can be divided into two main categories. One, primary or essential hypertension, and two, secondary hypertension. Let's begin with primary hypertension, the most common cause accounting for over 90% of cases. This type of hypertension develops gradually over the years, so you won't suddenly wake up with high blood pressure. It tends to become more prevalent as we age. The other category, secondary hypertension, is less common, affecting about 5-10% to of patients with high blood pressure. It is more frequently seen in younger patients, although not exclusively. In these cases, an underlying condition is responsible for the elevated blood pressure. So, what are the causes of high blood pressure other than primary hypertension? 1. Elevated levels of cortisol. Cortisol, known as the stress hormone, is released in response to stress. When stress is prolonged, cortisol levels remain high, keeping the body in a constant state of alert. This sustained high alert causes blood vessels to constrict, similar to how a garden hose narrows, increasing the pressure inside. Additionally, high cortisol levels lead to the retention of sodium and water by the kidneys, increasing blood volume and, consequently, blood pressure. Cortisol also damages the lining of blood vessels, making them less flexible and more prone to stiffness, further raising blood pressure. It disrupts the production of nitric oxide, a molecule essential for blood vessel relaxation, causing vessels to remain constricted. Moreover, elevated cortisol affects metabolism, leading to weight gain, especially around the abdomen, and increasing insulin resistance, both of which contribute to hypertension. These combined effects make the heart work harder and increase the pressure in blood vessels, resulting in high blood pressure. 2. Drugs, both prescription or illegal. Certain prescription and illegal drugs can cause hypertension by affecting the body's cardiovascular and renal systems. Prescription medications like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen and naproxen, can lead to high blood pressure by causing the kidneys to retain sodium and water, increasing blood volume. Some antidepressants, particularly selective serotonin and norepinephrine, reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs and SNRIs, can raise blood pressure by increasing levels of neurotransmitters that constrict blood vessels. Oral contraceptives can lead to high blood pressure by affecting hormone levels that regulate blood vessel function. Illegal drugs such as cocaine and methamphetamine can cause a dramatic increase in blood pressure. Cocaine, for instance, stimulates the nervous system, leading to intense vasoconstriction and increased heart rate, which elevates blood pressure. Methamphetamine also increases the release of norepinephrine, causing the heart to pump harder and blood vessels to narrow, both of which raise blood pressure. Chronic use of these stimulants can lead to persistent hypertension and severe cardiovascular complications. Finding this content helpful, let us know by giving us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more educational health videos. 3. Chronic Kidney Disease Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is a common cause of hypertension because the kidneys play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure. When the kidneys are damaged, their ability to filter blood and maintain fluid and electrolyte balance is impaired. This leads to several mechanisms that increase blood pressure. Firstly, damaged kidneys are less effective at excreting sodium. When sodium accumulates in the body, it retains water to maintain balance. This extra fluid increases the volume of blood circulating in the body, similar to adding more water to a balloon, which raises blood pressure. Secondly, CKD can lead to an overactivation of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, RAS. The kidneys release renin, triggering a chain reaction that produces angiotensin II, a powerful vasoconstrictor. Angiotensin II also stimulates aldosterone release, causing the kidneys to retain more sodium and water. This combination of narrowed blood vessels and increased fluid retention significantly raises blood pressure. Thirdly, CKD causes damage to the tiny blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing their ability to regulate blood pressure effectively. The kidneys produce hormones like prostaglandins and nitric oxide, 
which help relax blood vessels. When kidney function declines, the production of these hormones decreases, leading to increased blood vessel constriction and higher blood pressure. Lastly, CKD often leads to a buildup of waste products in the blood, which can cause inflammation and further damage blood vessels. This makes it even harder for the cardiovascular system to function normally, contributing to increased blood pressure. 4. Insulin Resistance When cells in the body become resistant to insulin, the pancreas compensates by producing more insulin to maintain normal blood sugar levels. This excess insulin, or hyperinsulinemia, has several effects that contribute to hypertension. Firstly, high levels of insulin can lead to sodium retention by the kidneys. When the kidneys retain more sodium, the body holds onto more water to balance the increased sodium. This additional fluid increases blood volume, which in turn raises blood pressure. Secondly, insulin resistance is often associated with an overactive sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system controls the fight or flight response, increasing heart rate and constricting blood vessels when activated. Chronic overactivity of this system keeps blood vessels constricted and the heart working harder, both of which elevate blood pressure. Thirdly, insulin resistance can cause changes in the structure and function of blood vessels. High insulin levels can promote the growth of smooth muscle cells in the walls of blood vessels, making them thicker and less flexible. This reduced elasticity makes it harder for blood vessels to expand and contract, increasing resistance to blood flow and raising blood pressure. Additionally, insulin resistance is often linked with obesity, particularly abdominal obesity, which further contributes to hypertension. Lastly, insulin resistance is associated with an imbalance of certain hormones and proteins that regulate blood pressure, such as increased levels of angiotensin II and decreased levels of nitric oxide. Angiotensin II constricts blood vessels while nitric oxide helps them relax. The imbalance leads to more constriction and higher blood pressure. 5. Deficiencies of certain minerals Magnesium and potassium are essential minerals that play critical roles in maintaining various bodily functions, including the regulation of blood pressure. Magnesium plays a crucial role in promoting blood vessel relaxation through its influence on nitric oxide production, which helps dilate blood vessels and improve blood flow. It also contributes to electrolyte balance, assisting in the regulation of potassium and calcium levels that affect muscle function, including the heart. Furthermore, magnesium's anti-inflammatory properties and its role in insulin sensitivity support cardiovascular health by reducing inflammation and enhancing glucose metabolism. Adequate magnesium levels also aid in stress management, helping to mitigate the impact of stress hormones like cortisol, which can elevate blood pressure. Potassium, on the other hand, primarily functions in balancing sodium levels in the body. By promoting sodium excretion through the kidneys, potassium helps prevent fluid retention and maintains a healthy fluid balance. This action supports blood vessel dilation and reduces resistance to blood flow, thereby lowering blood pressure. Potassium is essential for normal heart rhythm and muscle function, ensuring the heart beats regularly and effectively pumps blood throughout the body. It also plays a vital role in kidney function, where it helps regulate electrolyte levels and blood pressure stability, addressing deficiencies through dietary adjustments and when necessary, supplementation can help maintain optimal magnesium and potassium levels, supporting cardiovascular health and potentially lowering blood pressure. Six, pregnancy. Pregnancy-induced hypertension, also known as gestational hypertension, can develop during pregnancy and typically resolves after childbirth. This condition can manifest in various forms, such as gestational hypertension itself, preeclampsia or eclampsia, which are more severe and involve additional complications. The physiological changes of pregnancy, such as increased blood volume and altered hormone levels, can strain the cardiovascular system, resulting in elevated blood pressure. Hormonal shifts, including higher levels of estrogen and progesterone, can affect blood vessel function, potentially causing them to constrict and raise blood pressure. The placenta, essential for fetal development, may also play a role. Abnormalities in its function can disrupt blood flow and contribute to hypertension.
Additionally, women with pre-existing conditions like chronic hypertension, diabetes, or kidney disease are at greater risk. 7. Obesity Obesity is a prevalent and significant contributor to hypertension, impacting blood pressure through various physiological pathways. Excess body weight, particularly visceral adipose tissue, increases the body's demand for blood supply, leading to higher blood volume and elevated pressure on the arterial walls. This increased workload on the heart can gradually lead to hypertension. Moreover, obesity often coincides with insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome, where the body becomes less sensitive to insulin, resulting in higher insulin levels. Insulin resistance promotes sodium retention and fluid accumulation, further raising blood pressure. Additionally, obesity triggers chronic inflammation due to adipose tissue secreting inflammatory substances. These inflammatory markers can damage blood vessel linings, reduce vessel elasticity, and contribute to hypertension over time. Managing obesity through lifestyle changes such as adopting a balanced diet, increasing physical activity, and achieving weight loss is crucial for reducing the risk of hypertension and its associated health complications. 8. Obstrusive Sleep Apnea Obstructive sleep apnea is a sleep disorder characterized by recurrent episodes of partial or complete upper airway obstruction during sleep, leading to disrupted breathing patterns. When the airway is blocked, oxygen levels in the blood decrease, prompting the body to activate the sympathetic nervous system and release stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones increase heart rate, constrict blood vessels, and raise blood pressure to ensure sufficient oxygen delivery. Additionally, the buildup of carbon dioxide, CO2, due to the airway obstruction can lead to respiratory acidosis, affecting blood vessel function and contributing to hypertension. OSA is also associated with insulin resistance, metabolic changes, and chronic inflammation, all of which are additional factors that can increase the risk of developing hypertension. I hope this has been helpful. Make sure to share it with somebody and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, cheers. Check out our other video on how to lower blood pressure at home.